I came across this YouTube channel that makes millions of views. And for example, one of their videos made 407 million views. Yes. And here, when we look on this video, it's pretty straightforward. So we've got the cat which is trying to catch a mice. And I thought it would be great to create the automation that creates for us this entire content. So I was able to generate this video and you can notice the quality is perfect. It's crisp, it's highly professional. Uh, we don't have the background music. However, with this video that gained over 400 million views, we don't have the background music either. So in this material, I will be sharing with you how to create this entire automation from start to finish. Also, I've got for you a free template that you can just um, download and import inside an IDEN. So have this entire automation without setting it up. So yeah, watch to the end. Also remember that NADEN and AI automations are the hottest topics right now on the internet, so it's worth to learn it. Um, additionally, if you're a total beginner, I will show you exactly step by step how to build this entire automation from start to finish. You don't need to know how to code at all. Um, in general, if you set it up once, then you can generate high quality and viral YouTube shorts. You can publish that on TikTok, YouTube, I don't know, maybe LinkedIn, Facebook, and so. Um, so again, in this video, I've got for you a free template um, that you can download. I will put the link in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. When you open this link, you will be redirected to our 100% free community, which is AI enthusiasts. Inside, we learn AI, automations, and a lot of more. Inside the classroom, if you would like to download the template, you go over to YouTube resources and here to viral cut YouTube shorts. You can download this entire template. And then if you go ahead to your NADEN, you click on these three dots, import from file, then you click on Viral Cut YouTube Shorts, you get this entire template set up inside your NADEN. You need to only connect the credentials, however, it's quite easy, so yeah, afterwards you've got everything set up. So with all that being said right now, let me guide you through what we have in this entire automation step by step, what are all of the fields and so on. So first things first, we set up the trigger, which is scheduled trigger, and there I specify trigger this automation every day. Right away, we've got our A agent that creates for us the prompt. So we'll be kind of creating the prompt for an image and then this image will turn into the video. So simply we, gener we create our A agent that creates for us the prompt to use for image generation. This is the prompt. And there also we've got the system message. So let me quickly show you. We've got the purpose, we've got capabilities, interaction style and example output parser. So in the purpose, this assistant generates detailed natural language image prompt for AI image generators. It creates a vivid descriptive scenario featuring a tabby cat setting a clever trap for a mouse with cheese. So you need to remember that we are specifying this automation for this specific case. So these viral YouTube shorts of the cat. However, there is the opportunity to customize these um, specific instructions. So let's say you've got other content you wanna create, you can customize it and create viral videos of something else. Uh, so the main point is you have the automation and then you can customize it. Feel free to do this, it's quite easy. So in general, you can copy this entire system message, go ahead to ChatGPT and type, all right, create for me the system message for, I don't know, maybe football news or so on. Um, however, let's move on um, inside our um, system instructions. So then we've got capabilities. So design unique image prompts with precise character actions and sending details. Include props like kitchen tools or common household items for realism. Specify natural of warm lighting. So capabilities um, of the system message. Interaction style, write in clear, rich descriptive language. Avoid headings or instructions in the output. Just the image prompt itself. Focus on a cozy, humorous, and visually engaging tone. Emphasize sen sensory details like light, textures, and mood. Example output prompt, so I provided a prompt, so the entire output of that. And then at the end, what I've done, I've connected my OpenAI model. So simply, here you click on this plus next to the chat model, and you provide your model, I used um, GPT 4.1 Mini. Um, so you need to connect your OpenAI credential here, however, it's pretty simple. Then after we do this, we've got our perfect prompt. So a clever tabby cat crouches quietly on a sunlit kitchen floor. It's green eyes locked on a small mouse near a piece of golden cheese. That's great, we've got our prompt for an image. So this is the first part of this automation, which is create the prompt. And then we go ahead, we move forward. So we've got a generate image. We use HTTP request. So simply inside, um, you've got the URL. Um, by the way, actually, all of them um, set up values. So for an example, URL, 
JSON and code. Here you can get by just downloading the template inside our 100% free community. So again, if you open the link from the description, you go ahead to the classroom, YouTube resources, and then you download this template, you will have all of the fields set up. You only need to connect your credentials. So your OpenAI account and, you know, other credentials for other applications. It's quite easy. You spend only a few minutes and you can generate these type of the videos, okay? So it's pretty important. So we've got the URL where you specify the, that we want to create um, actually our image. Uh, we've got our credential and in the JSON code what we have. We've got the model, so we specify the model. We've got different models, DALI 2, DALI 3. However, for this case, we are using the best model on the internet, which is GBT Image 1. The prompt is our JSON output, so we just feed this HTTP request, so this model that generates our image with our output, so our prompt. So we say, okay, use this prompt and create for me an image. For the quality, uh, we wanna make it high, of course, and the size, um, which is vertical. Uh, you can choose the square, you can choose horizontal, however, for shorts, especially, we want to pick the vertical size, obviously. After we run this specific HTTP request, so we run um, this step, and by clicking on execute the step or running the entire automation, we get our um, file created, so our image. However, it's in weird format, which is actually B64, what's that? Um, so we've got this specific code, these numbers, what's happening? Um, so yeah, we've got this entire format. And we need to turn it into the file. We are using the specific node inside an IDEN, which is convert to file. And we take this specific code. So we just provide the variable inside here. I've done it here, so let me show you. You just take this specific node, you put it here, and then you get your file. You can view it. So we've got this specific image that later on will be animated. Okay, that's pretty simple. Then what we do, we need to host our image and upload somewhere. So I'm using Cloudinary, which is the application that allows you to do this. And then again, we've got the URL. However, what's important here? This specific part is my cloud name. So if I go ahead to cloudinary.com, I, I sign up for free. And when I log in here inside our homepage, we've got our cloud name. So what you need to do? You need to go over there after just importing this file and delete this part and provide your specific cloud name. So it looks like this, you need to change this specific part. For the method, we are using post. So we indicate, okay, we wanna connect with the application. And then what we do, we send the body and we provide two parameters. The first one parameter, actually we choose content type, which is from data. And there the first, the first one par parameter is an ident binary file. So the name is the file. We need to specify this specific um, yeah, name. And the field name is the data. Why data? Because the name of the file is data. So that's why we've got the data, obviously. For the second parameter, we are using um, form data again. Actually, not again. Uh, we had here an ident binary file. So yeah, we are using form data. Name, upload preset. And remember exactly to type this specific uh, name. It's, um, it depends from the platform you're using. For the Cloudinary, and we need to provide this name. And then for the value, what you do, you provide your preset name. If you go ahead to Cloudinary, you open the settings in the left bottom corner, and here you open Upload tab, then you can add Upload preset. So in general, you add Upload preset, you name it as NADEN, let's say, um, unsigned, and you click on Save. All right, we need to take more letters, so NADEN, um, test, um, test YouTube. Okay. All right. Whatever. Like the name doesn't matter. Um, actually it matters, but let me show you what I mean. Um, you click on save. Um, and then you just copy this specific name and you provide it here, right here inside your value. And then after you do this, you get your URL right there. So an image, if you copy this URL, you paste it in your new page, you should get this image right there. So hosted on other platform. So that's perfect. So we've got our two parts of the automation created. So create prompt and generate image. The next case is to take this image and turn it into the video. For this case, we are using fall.ai. And again, if you import my template that I provided you for free, you get like the URL set up. So we are using the pro model. Actually, let me show you. If I go to fall.ai, here uh, we've got the specific model, which is Minimax. 
this is quite nice model. For one video, we pay 50 cents. However, there is the, um, the method to pay less. Um, if you want to pay less um, money, you use a um, model which is image to video, however, standard, not pro. And for this case, for six seconds video, you pay only 27 cents. It's um, twice as less as previously. However, for this case, I'm using the pro version and the results are quite nice, very good. Um, but in case you want to change the model, inside here, um, let me show you, you've got the specific URL. Instead of the pro, you type standard. Okay, you type standard and you've got your different model, you pay less. However, the quality will be worse. So you've got your URL and remember about the method which is post because actually we want to um, connect to the application, not get something back to, from the application, however, connect to the application. So that's why we are using the method post. So we connect it to the application. Um, if you want to get something back, so let's say we created um, our video or so and we want to get it back, we provide the method which is get, all right? That's pretty simple. For the authentication, we use generic credential type. Header authentication right here. So we've got header authentication. And there, let me show you how you can connect your credential. So in general, um, let me show you. I will create a new credential. So create new credential. The name, this is the authorization. Authorization. And in the value, you need to provide your API key plus the key um, sentence. So in general, if you go here, um, let's go over to home. You've got API keys. You add your specific key. Okay, so let's name it as um, test with three T's. Create key, you've got your key. You just copy it. Um, you go back to your automation. And then what you do, you type key and then you paste your API key. Okay, you click on save. And that's why, that's how you've got your um, credential created. That's perfect. Then what we do in this automation, we send the body, we use the JSON using JSON, and we specify some specific fields. So here, image URL, we've got the JSON URL, URL right there. So we just feed this specific HTTP request with our JSON URL. Let me show you. So here, what do we have? We've got upload image. So we are using um, this specific URL. If I drag and drop it here, you can see this is the specific field. So this one. Um, so yeah, you just drag and drop these specific variables to just fit um, another node. For the aspect ratio, um, we want to generate the video, so the short in 916. This is the aspect ratio for TikTok, YouTube short, and so on. And for the prompt, remember, um, with this A agent, we created only the prompt for an image. However, for the video, we don't need to have it. You know, we don't need to have it. We just want to animate this specific image. So the prompt is only the static camera. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so it's pretty everything. We just connected our um, our NADN with and full AI and the model, which is Minimax. And after we do this, uh, we just execute the step, okay? And then we've got a status, which is in queue. So we need to wait approximately 10 minutes. Um, if I go over here, let me show you. If I go ahead to this model, um, and there I go ahead to requests. Inside you can notice that I've created two videos and one video took 503 seconds and the, and the second one, 498 seconds, 99 approximately. Um, so what do we do? We provide the note, which is wait 10 minutes and we define, okay, wait 10 minutes, then continue with the next step. So then we get the video. And again, as I told you in this material, we use the method, which is get, because we want to get from the application, get a video from the application. For the URL, we provide the URL, which is this one. Uh, so you've got it in the, um, yeah, the template I provide, I'm providing for you for free. Um, and in general, what we do, uh, we specify, okay, connect with full AI, minimax model, requests, and um, because here we've got the requests and inside we've got the videos, and we want to get this specific URL. So what we do in that, in that case, uh, we define the JSON request um, ID. So for this purpose, we are picking this variable that changes every time we run the automation. So we just pick this specific video and we check for the status. Perfect. Uh, for this case, if you um, connected your uh, full AA account previously, you just use the same credential. So generic credential type, header authentication and full AI, that's perfect. And I can say that's pretty everything. 
For the last part of this specific automation, we just use Google Sheets, which is optional. So here we just save the image prompt, image URL and video URL. So what you do, you pick the resource, which is sheet within document, up and row operation. There you pick your document and you just provide the specific, specific variables for the specific fields. So for an example, if you go here, uh, you've got actually create prompt and you provide the output. So you just drag and drop this value here, okay? For the image URL, you um, pick actually this URL from our um, Cloudinary. So we've got the URL right there. For the video URL, you just pick the video URL from um, our application. So where do we have it? Image to video, and you pick this specific URL. That's pretty straightforward, you put it here. And I can say this is pretty everything. So this automation again allowed me to create um, the video that can go viral, can get thousands and millions of views. So again, this is the video I generated. Again, the quality is perfect. And you can do this with this entire automation. And this is the video that cut 400 million views. Just look. You can generate this video with this entire automation. Do it on autopilot without you doing anything after you set it up. Isn't that perfect? Like, I mean, it's so cool. So, yeah. Actually, by this video, by watching this video to the end, you've got the entire template. You know what is happening inside, even how to how to customize this template. So that's great. Also, remember, if you would like, um, of course, join our free A Enthusiast community. But if you want to go further, and feel free to check out our A Agents Accelerator. So this is our community where we learn AI automations. Inside the classroom, you've got plus 25 hours and then course. So if you want to learn everything about an Aiden, explore basic automations, more advanced projects, feel free to check it out. I will put the link in the description of this video, okay? Um, also, you've got here premium templates. You've got YouTube resources. Um, that's pretty great. You've got a lot of YouTube, YouTube resources, such as Clink, Clink plus an Aiden, VO3 Video Generator, TikTok Video Machine, YouTube Video Posting System. If you want to get a tons of, a tons of views, a tons of actually traffic, and get very popular. These are the systems that can make it um, true, okay? Um, so feel free to check it out, no pressure. Thank you for watching this material and I will see you in the next video.